हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन एम आई ऑडिबल शो योर थम्स विद अ बड़ी वाली स्माइल इफ यू कैन हियर मी एंड यस आई कैन सी ग्रेट आर्टवर्क्स इन हैंड्स लाइक सैनिकाज हैंड विथ लवली कैलीग्राफी एंड दिस आदित्य दिस इज अ ब्यूटिफुल एब्सट्रैक्ट आर्ट विच यू ट्राइड आई लव इट एंड आई कैन सी अनुष्का विथ ब्यूटिफुल स्केच Kaira, I just love the way you completed with doodle art background and wonderful creative writing. Mahi, I love this craft. <laughs> Cute parrot, kind of parrot, like not completely. Okay, as um, exams are on, so we have very limited students. Ah, uh, it is going to be one hour class, but we will complete our coloring in one hour. And today's artwork is holy special. Okay, holy special. And even in junior batch also, I selected a very <laughs> different. Today we are going to show holy like normally for forwarding message. You know, you pick up one uh, graphic which is already available with some message. Now, this time you will be making your own drawing for forwarding messages to your relatives, and you will write your message also with calligraphy. Your next class will be taken by Aishi, ma'am. She is expert in calligraphy, and you will be learning. You will be having calligraphy class. Okay, so after that you can write happy holy. on this and then uh, your holy special graphic will be ready okay so let's learn a beautiful drawing on holy today okay and uh, with letters and numbers so what you will do you will keep your file vertically you can see i simply turn my file this way and turn it vertical and decide your center okay yes we are going to use our space vertically as i told you that we are going to forward it on mobile so vertical uh, will be better for you okay and we will learn a beautiful posture okay uh, of so what you will be doing you will come upwards and almost here like we want to show one hand up you know and here so what you will be doing you will start your drawing with a circle and you can make this much big circle i will show you the, how much big it is going to be four finger is the diameter four fingers okay so we'll start with a circle you can make your circle free hand and four finger is the diameter hold your pencil loose try to use blunt pencil don't sharp your pencil before drawing class and now and hold it loose it's very important holding it loose don't hold it tight and normally for writing we hold it this way so for drawing we will be holding it Lose. So this is your circle. This is going to be your face. Okay. After this, we want to show our rhythm. Okay. We want to show our rhythm. So our body will go slightly in round. Okay. And we are learning drawing on holy today, Tanya. Okay. Start with a circle. Diameter is four fingers. See, four finger is the diameter. Okay. Ah, uh, from center, I took three fingers. Like this face is on three fingers. Okay, this complete bottom part we will be using for making lehenga. We will be showing. Ah, uh, we will show this face that this girl is taking round and round and spreading ah uh, colors all around. That's why the whole environment is because has become colorful. Okay, and here as we want to draw this work, I want we want to learn this work for forwarding message. so we are going to leave little space for writing holy special message and i made this festival filled with colors and i made this festival filled with colors of hope and light and happiness you know so after learning calligraphy what i will discuss if she can cover up some holy special calligraphy or uh, then you write the message then your complete graphic will be ready next class will be taken by aishi ma'am aishi ma'am okay and this, that will be calligraphy special done then now we will make a structure of body so right now i'm giving shall i give you a little close up view show me thumbs up close up view yes now you know how to start from where to start now little close up view and first you are going to make one 111 111 and you will be making one hand up one or if you feel that like here yeah, yeah, we can do one thing we can even make hands in the same position as i made for uh, uh 
चलो वी विल डू वी विल डू दैट नॉट दैट वेज सी दिस हैंड विल गो अपर साइड तो दीज आर टू पॉइंट एंड सी द फेस लाइक दिस मच दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द Gently sloping like this. The hand will go upwards now. So I will be making it this way, and this hand is almost straight because here the position of hand is going to be front. Okay, and we we can simply sprinkle color, watercolors also, if we want. Okay, now this posture, the purpose behind covering up this posture is, uh, this will help you covering up folk art, uh, folk dance, special artworks also. Okay. and i'm going to make uh, this lady wearing a uh, traditional dress okay so how to add flow and rhythm in clothes in choti and everything you know this you will learn ha uh, i will give a quick revision priyanka and others those who join late you know it will be helpful to for them uh, for this i will have to give a uh, full view I took center. I took center. Three fingers distance. I made a circle. The diameter is four fingers. Eleven. One line is going slightly up. One is almost straight. Okay. And uh, how how much big? See the face circle. This much big only lines. Okay. Now I will give little close up view, and we will start. After this, let's complete the rhythm of body. So here, the line will go. Okay, here the line will go this way. And how much far we are going to keep from neck? This is going to be four and five fingers almost. And see, this line is coming straight down, slightly curved. Straight down, slightly curved. and here it is going to be three fingers less than three fingers two and half and here this is four fingers this and this the width is four fingers here it is two and half okay uh, my favorite output you know draw a beautiful output this all topics this kind of topics uh, normally in children they get in competition so you can even try this if you will make uh, dandiya in hands then it will become garba special so one drawing and so many things we, it is going to cover up and what you will be doing you will come down see this is the bottom part now you are going to make lehenga these are two points you will simply make a line here we'll be making a line here okay and you'll be making a line in the corner a big c okay and as i want to show she is dancing moving round and round and that rhythm we will show with help of this to so see here this is c quite down because here one leg is only visible the small part of feet foot not feet one we will we are going to show is visible you can simply add some lines so this is c hold your pencil loose then and then only you will be having rhythm rhythmic lines okay do this now how to add that rhythm in lehenga this you will be learning now see i have made a flat c and see how much far it is 4 4 8 10 this lower line is 10 fingers okay and this side lines will be little smaller i think 4 4 8 9 4 4 8 9 okay and this is 10 so you will simply connect it this way and now from here you will go up you will come down and you're going to write s okay you're going to write s and you will simply show your lines accordingly 
make sure you will be holding your pencil loose. Then only this rhythm will come. Okay. So uh, when you want to show rhythm, like a dancing, and one is dancing, the body in movement, whether it is running or dancing. So what you will do, you start using rhythmic lines for dress, hair, and all elements, jewelry. And you will see these all will give illusion of rhythm in body. Okay. So this is a great learning actually. How to take help of rhythmic lines for showing a rhythm and movement in body. Okay. Now here you will go with a small line. And you will simply and you will be simply showing this race. Okay. And uh, after this or you can simply connect it with you. If you feel that you can simply connect it with you and and now we will complete this side also. Here also it will go like this and then a line will come here. And this is the way you'll be going here. You can add one more. And simply using letter S, you can show the curves. Okay. So see, this is the way I simply add that wave in Langa. If you feel that you want to make it a little more bigger here. Then you can add accordingly. Okay. So you see my favorite dress. If you want to make Cinderella or a princess. Then also you can try this kind of gown. Now here we I want to connect it with. One is taking round and dancing. So I simply make this kind of uh, wavy lines. Use this kind of wavy lines for making hanger. And I'll hold your pencil loose. Then only the rhythm, rhythm you will gain, gain. If you will be holding your pencil tight. Then. This rhythm you will not be able to gain. The lines will be rigid. So see this uh, as this is uh, art in which we want to show a dancing posture. So your rhythmic lines are having great role. Okay. So uh, please uh, take care of it. Hold your pencil loose. Keep your hand loose while moving your pencil. Okay. Now we will decide hands. And we want to show face partially down. Partially side face and little downwards. How to make that partially side face bow and slightly tilted downwards. This also you will learn today. Okay. I will take one and two points. One and two. I will be taking one and two points here. Okay. And you can simply show... Three fingers, no, three and slightly bigger. Three and slightly bigger here. Achha, here, see, you can do one more thing. Give a curve. Okay, let it be there. And you are going to give. You will be making one line. Which is coming here. Okay, and you are going to make it this much big, two and three finger big, and some lines. Okay, so you will simply kind of D shape you will be using. You can give a curved line for showing very beautiful curved to fingers. This corner you can make little round and a thal. Color we will show directly. Okay. And now we will work a lot on dress. Okay. Because we want to connect it with traditional dresses. We want to connect it with folk dances, traditional dances. 
we can connect it with incredible India, we can connect it with Indian culture, which is incredible. And so we will work a lot on dress. Okay. So here this line, see, that's why we kept this line upwards, because this line will go now upwards. So you're going to show a line exactly like here we kept it three and little bigger than three. So here also we will be keeping it little bigger than three and simply give a curve. And same distance you will be keeping for here. Okay. See, same like here we kept it three fingers. Here this is slightly bigger than three fingers. You will do the same. This hand will go upper side. And you will simply Okay, you will simply show you and hand. This hand will be disappearing. We will show colors all around because this hand is spreading color. So don't even if you will not make this hand, then also it's all right. Okay, so now the hands have been done. And as I told you, we are going to work a lot on traditional dress. You know, because dresses always enhance the beauty. And let's take this opportunity, this beautiful festival drawing uh, for uh, celebration in uh, and connected with Indian culture, the way uh, traditional time, that ancient time, how it was celebrated with gulal and all. You will make sleeves. Okay, and you will be making, see, here what you do, your work little on dress. Okay, so we are going to you'll be working. See, this is the way you will be making dress. Okay. And you will be making this face, this pattern, this stylish blouse kind pattern. You will keep and just make a necklace here. Okay. We want to show a dupatta which is falling down from here. And we will tuck it up here. You can give this also a curve. Okay. So here the posture is quite simple, but with help of beautiful dress and all, you will see we will make it a very special one. Okay. So let's complete face also. Then we will stay switch on downwards bangles. Karas. See what we'll be show, doing for showing Karas 11. Okay, you will make this kind of rectangle and see all of you see just one minute. I want you one minute. You will do this here diagonal line. Diagonal line. Okay, so what will happen? It will look as if it is around. And you will erase the lines of hands. Okay, you can show a ring in hand and this hand we are going to it is because we will cover it up in uh, color. We will simply show color at place of hand. Now let's complete face. For making face, you will be making a gently sloping line. Okay, you can show a gently sloping line. And see, this is partially side face. That's why this line is not in center, but little on side. And you will simply, no Sunana, this is one hour class only, okay? We will finish it in one hour only. And here you're going to make C, okay? You will be making ear here, okay? You'll be making ear here. 
it shift it little downwards also okay and here you are going to show a line you will be showing hair little bouncy so you will be making line upwards straight line here and here it will go up and goes straight down straight down covering up circle and it will come near nape come near nape okay and from here we will show baby choti okay so what i did i simply make this kind of flat line on head you know because when we want to show hair it will look little bouncy and here as it is partition you can show this way is also very softly okay and you can show a curve here too now we will start developing it and for choti we want to keep this rhythm so how it will go it will simply go from here and come this way s a big s okay so when you want to make any baby uh, like here if i would have made started it directly so maybe it is somewhere that rhythm perfect rhythm would have missed so first make a guideline over that now see very first line all of you see very carefully your very first line will go very close to this and you will only make a c it means it should be very close to neck and then you know if you want to keep the hair back side you erase the lines from front and start making your choti okay gradually the lines will go this bracket shape will go smaller and then okay this is going to be your choti you can erase this line even this this is your choti ready so first make a guideline rhythmic line over that you do and very important there are few lines which are very important which you should erase at once the line of circle okay you will erase the line of circle now your new hairstyle is this round you will not keep okay we will give a shape to face okay first i want to check this much will you please lift up files and show how much done how much you are absorbing you know the way you completed lehenga and all shabash very nice very beautifully done work okay so for partially side face we will decide so if it is it would be front face so the ears will go on side but gradually when your face face start uh, turning towards partially side and uh completely side face so what happened the position of ear start getting shifted when your face is completely side face your ear will come in center okay now let's give a shape to face for making shape of to face you will make a straight line this is the way you will be making and you will erase circle okay you will simply you will come here chin and you will erase this middle line see this is the way around it you will be making see this is a straight line and here the chin will come and it will go here you can make a big earring big earring with small jhumki or a big jhumki also you can make and whatever you are making erase the lines which are coming in it now see if you here for jewelry you are absolutely free with your own designer jewelry i made this kind of jhumki okay we are going to decorate it directly afterwards here this line is almost straight outside circle and little this kind of shape now quickly com let's complete this eyes
here also okay you will be doing this phase you will be making eyelashes okay make eyelashes bindi as we are making a indian beauty nose and cute smile two more lines okay for nose and this we will make simply two lines and yeah as this is partially side face we are going to show jhumki this side okay this side in front you can show a jhumki visible from here okay you can keep it of the same kind yes if you want to show flower but we don't have space for making that so we will simply skip that as i told you we are going to work a lot on rhythmic lines and when as i told you that we when you want to show rhythm in body what you do you start making each line rhythmic right now you will be making odd knee like i will show one odd knee falling down from this shoulder line and i will tuck it up here okay so what i will do i will take a point here i will take a point here and i will simply go for diagonal line which is going out and getting tugged this line will go little far get tucked Okay, you will be getting it tuck here, and then what you will do? You will erase all the lines which are coming in this cloth which is falling down from the shoulder line. Okay, and here you will be making. You will show one gather here. so let's make one gather you will erase the lines and this is a small gather you can show here okay just simply finish lehenga so reason behind covering up this topic and making dress the traditional dresses traditional dance folk dance na dresses are having great role in complete beauty of the artwork so that's why when you will be making it uh, and see here this rhythm i add because i want to show this girl is taking ground and that's why we add this rhythm in lehenga and if this girl is standing still we want to show this so we would have the this lehenga in different ways okay and now what we will do i will show one more time i simply write as as the same uh, technique which we use for making lehenga we use for making this gather we see this is simply falling down and this lehenga is coming from back side and from armpit you will be showing it flowing as whenever you want to show a Yes. Now again, why this rhythmic line? Because we want to add rhythm in body. You can start it from this armpit line. It will look better. And this is again. If you feel like to me add this, you can add this. And simply hold your pencil loose throughout. So see this old knee is on over shoulder line from back side it is coming here and you will show it flying in there. Okay, choti has been done, hands are done, dupatta has been done. So now see this is the way we will complete. If you feel that here it's looking quite heavy, you can accordingly cover it up. Okay, and this is going to be the basic structure. If you want to make mang tikka nose ring. More jewelry you can accordingly make. I will simply keep uh, kadas in hands, and this is the way you will be completing it. Okay. Now do one thing, otherwise you will give outlines. 
you will simply raise this line or don't give outline in hand okay and rest everything you will give outlines with black sketch pen now see here you have lots of space for writing your message this is going to be your graphic on which you will write your message yourself and this holy you will not take anything from online your own artwork will be forwarded with holy wishes okay we are covering up almost all uh, festivals to see now we will be starting with outlines acha do you know why uh, this festival is given name holi and uh, although on this day prahlad came out from fire which his uh, own father uh, he, his own father tried uh, to kill uh, prahlad because he was follower of he was bhakt of hari vishnu and uh, all villagers they were listening to his bhajans and slowly even they started worshiping and then haran kashyapu wanted himself to be worshiped he was very angry that his own son is uh, not following and worshiping his father at the place of uh, at place of this is teaching others also that god is hari vishnu no one else who can save you and who can do anything haran kashyap who was so much upset with this that he decided he will kill his own son okay so chalo quickly let's complete it and very carefully you will be making lines all around okay you will be completing this hand also let's complete dress so this was the day on uh, when holika's wedding was supposed to take place she was in a uh, bridal dress and that day after trying so many times after many attempts to kill prahlad you know finally haran kashyap decided that he will take help of holika because holika was a uh, bhakt of agni dev and agni dev bless holika with a magic shawl uh, with blessings that if you will wear this shawl no fire will not harm you okay so um, she was having this magic shawl so he instructed haran kashyap instructed holika that you simply wear that shawl and uh, make prahlad sit in your lap sit in a very big fire they did lots of arrangement for this and you know, like uh, lots of wood was been collected and he said ki you sit with prahlad to holika said ki bhaiya today is my wedding i'm getting ready see i'm wearing bridal dress to haran kashyap was that eager to kill prahlad that he said i can't wait even for tomorrow you will have to do this you know so you can say with fearfulness or with uh, obedient like she was very obedient and she decided and she then um, all villagers they were very much upset and sad when they came to come to know that this kind of something is going to take place they were screaming and crying with fear and um, prayers were um, like they were praying for protection of prahlad okay so van finally uh, but prahlad was fearless he was very much confident and he was having complete trust so he entered to that and huge fire took place after that and uh, they were very sure that prahlad will turn into ashes but what happens suddenly a very strong wind start Uh, blowing and that shawl, that magic shawl, slipped from the body of Holika and cover Pehlad. And at this way, he got protection. And when this fire was extinguished, it stopped. Then they found Holika was turned into ashes. The same day when her wedding was going to happen. Okay, so that's why today also that obedience, like for whatever reason. she did like this was actually something 
if we uh, see this positively, that uh, his uh, brother's instructions and wish was that important for her, although she was supporting evil thought, that the same day she was having wedding, she entered fire. That's why this festival, we know it as holy. It's not based on Prahlad's name. And Haran Kashyapu was blessed with that neither um, animal nor human, uh, neither inside nor outside, neither morning time nor night time, uh, neither animal nor human, uh, any weapon, neither upper side, neither down, neither up nor down. Rana, these all blessings are given. You will not die at this, these places. When Haran Kashyapu did deep meditation, Lord Brahma asked that uh, you can ask for a Varda. So he asked, I want uh, Amartha. So I shall never die. Okay. So he said, Ki, this can't happen. Yes, this you can do that uh, I can give you Varda, some other Varda, because this is against rule. So you will never die. This I can't give. This uh, blessings I can't give. See, after this, what you will do? You will start erasing unwanted lines. Come on, let's quickly do that. You can see after Kara, I didn't give outlines in hands. Okay. And here, one more line. Erase all unwanted lines. And let's get started with coloring. We kept enough space for writing Happy Holy. Okay. And I want to check the work and then we will switch on to coloring. So come on, lift up your files. Achai, if you want to enhance its beauty, you can write with texture art. Happy holy. Hai na? Or uh, holy hai, bura namanu, holy hai. You can even uh, add some texture art based uh, elements like pichkari hai na? and so many things. You can even add in background. So, chalo now, let's um, erase all lines. This is third step. Erase all unwanted lines. Clean your artwork. And then we will start with curry. Okay, oil pistol we are going to use. So, Haran Kashyapa was very proud of this blessing. He decided if uh, I will uh, take, ask Lord Brahma for this blessings. So, I will be safe from all, all there. But last moment... Nursing, like when he was, he decided that now he is going to throw Prahlad in boiled oil. So that and he was tied with around with a, a pillar. So Lord Narsingha appeared. He was, Lord Narsingha is neither a man or animal. And with nails, like nails are not uh, weapons. With nails, like, because he was blessed that no weapon can kill you. And uh, evening time, when... Uh, Daytime is over, night is not started that time. And not up, neither down, nor, nor up. So on lap, neither it nor out. So on Dehri, you know, that entrance, he killed uh, him. And now you're going to erase all lines. Okay. Now the work is ready to color. And... Uh, I will be starting with, so see, if you want to connect it with tricolor, you can definitely try that too. But I will love to do some other colors also. So I will take pink for making lehenga. Okay. I have a lovely pink color. Now how to spread your color? You will be spreading your color softly. Now see, I have a small piece. Make sure your color should be clean. If some other colors are there, please move it on rough surface and start doing so you will start doing it this way, okay? This way you will be moving. Spread a thick layer of it. Your coat should be thick. Then only you will be able to spread your color even tone. So see, I will be using a uh, pink. I will spread it. Now here, this line uh, by mistake I add, but I will cover it up. So till this portion you will be doing pink. Spread it nicely. We are going to merge it with help of uh, okay. I will use pink. I simply kept color horizontally 
and I start dragging. Okay, I will start dragging it. This is the way you will drag it. Softly, gently. Okay, and you will take a small piece of cotton and you will merge it, okay? So this is the story and that's why we call this festival as Holi. And I like the soft pink color you want. If you want any other color like orange or red, you can definitely try this. Red I want to use, primary red I want to use for completing Langa. If you feel like, see when the color code, color will be very less, then what will happen? You will find it difficult to merge. So enough quantity of color is needed. So see here, I felt that I'm not able to merge because the quantity of color is less. I spread a little more and see now how smoothly I'm able to color uh, merge it. Okay. Come on, do this ways. And you will merge it nicely. You can keep upper portion of this little darker, lower portion little light. Okay. And this is the way you will start doing it. Okay. This is the way. See. This is the way you will complete it. You will take red color, primary red, one of my favorite. You can take dark pink or any other also. And I will love to add. Achha, your hand should not touch oil pastel part. Okay, you, If you need to paste, I keep reminding you every class, you will use a paper. On that you can paste. But don't touch your oil pastel color directly. And now I will take primary red color. Primary red. And you will start making thick border. Okay, with oil pastel, make it neat so that merging won't be required. Neatly you do and if needed, you can even merge it. I will simply put it all around with red. Okay. And okay, so this is the way you are going to complete. If you want to make it a little thick, and you can make it a little thick, it will look better. Now, as I told you, that this is a very simple posture, but we worked a lot on dress, we made it stylish. We are going to add so many things in it. We will use very colorful background. And with on this, you are going to write your calligraphy codes. And for writing on it with calligraphy, you know, I will, uh, we will give background with plastic. After this, we will do one thing. First, we will give background. You know, and dust. See, while doing oil pistol, this kind of dust will rise. You are supposed to manage it. How? You will simply blow it off. Come on. This phase you will blow it off. You will not let this dust be on your paper. And this pink with uh, dark red, primary red border is looking great. And dark green, black, brown, any color you can pick up. And you can add some patterns. I will love to add patterns with black color. Don't touch colored portion, remove all dust, do not not with hands, simply blow them off and very simple pattern. Okay, very simple patterns I will be making with black. I will love to make it with black. Okay, very carefully you will be making some small and some big patterns.
Okay. This is the way you would be doing. Okay. I will simply add this. If you want to enhance its beauty, you can do some pasting of stones and all. Even for necklace and all. And this we can do. So here, this is the way. With black, it will look great. We will make half circles around for showing that this portion is in plates, okay? That kind of illusion we need to create, right? So see, with black, I will simply add rings. Patterns, you will see patterns will add that liveliness to your artwork, which uh, other elements won't be able to do. So try patterns, try some beautiful, simple patterns, which you can add directly, okay? And you will see its magical effect. Okay. So with lots of patience, you don't, you will not touch your hand on it. Okay, you will be simply covering it up and see with simple patterns how wonderful this lehenga is looking, right? Neatly, make it neatly, okay? So now this lehenga is ready. If you want to add a few more things, I think this is enough. And this is really looking great. Take plastic yarn. Listen to the color medium very carefully. Take plastic yarn, dark pink color. Dark pink. First, blow off all dust. Place any paper and start moving gently on one side. One side. Out of that side, okay? Off it and just add a depth. With plastic crown, you will be doing. You will move it very softly. Very softly, you will be moving it. And you will add a depth everywhere. Okay, softly. Make sure black, if you will touch now, it will start spreading. So softly, you will be doing it. And when you will use it softly, you will start finding its beautiful and magical look around. Okay, once out of one side, you decide which side you want to add this pink color. And that side everywhere, you will start doing it. As you want to show shadow of this upper cloth, you just simply show shadow with dark pink all around. And a little darker tone here. And this is the way you will complete it. Okay. And if you want to add little depth here, you can add little depth here. Okay, this, this portion. All of you see? Just one minute I will take. See? All of you see? Here you will fill this. Connect. You will fill this. Connect. Now you will see your very simple experiments will give a very detailed look to your lehenga. Okay? That very ordinary lehenga which we learn has become a very special, detailed and wonderful now. Okay? Dark depth and simply connect. And this is ready. Okay? Can I check this much? Will you please lift up files and show everyone? Now the very first thing we will be doing, we will spread colors with plastic crayons all around. Okay? You can take rainbow colors or any random colors you can take. And why we are using plastic crayon in background? Because you are going to write, right? So, if I, we will do oil pistol in background, so you won't be able to write your calligraphy over. So, take plastic crayon. Yes, I want to use yellow, all colors of holy. And here, now see, if you are participating and, and you want to make holy special artwork, then you can try texture art. I can see Sanvi tried texture art in Langa. So, in background, you can try texture art and you can write a thought or something on holy, beautiful lines on holy. 
and i can see even vihan with a lovely drawing very good efforts vihan now yellow pink all colors okay and make this complete background colorful okay so before completing this lady let's complete our background colorful orange all colors you can take orange blue dark blue green now see this lehenga is um, of this color na so here you will be using color which is not of lehenga that is blue yellow don't use pink there around you know to so this way we will add a balance in our work blue okay you will be using blue you can use green simply spread colors now here if you want to use watercolors in hand and a bit cotton tap tap technique you want to do you can even try that okay so i will simply show you that ways and here i will be using a little green okay green here or yellow also you can try okay and you will simply add yellow color here and see to cover up now all of you see how to cover up your mistakes like when i was making line to simply connect all of you see what mistake i made this is the uh, this dupatta and this is lehenga and i connect by mistake while giving outline so move your white color over move your white okay if it happen with you to so how to cover up okay to make it light okay and uh, you i will spread more colors i have many more colors hai right? na so let's use them and complete your colorful background you can add some circles also and this background we kept for calligraphy okay and i will uh, ask uh, ayushi to cover up calligraphy uh, on holi so it will be of great help you can write that on this artwork okay or whatever she is teaching you can learn and you can uh, once you know how to uh, go for calligraphy then you can definitely use it for writing happy holi or whatever you want to write for holi okay to so see this is the way i add very soft background all over okay do one thing turn your file upside down so what will happen that part will be untouched and now switch on to your plastic crayons come on take out your plastic crayons face and here we will be using with we will be making with plastic crayons so take your skin color pink color okay you will be taking skin and pink you can simply add pink here here on eyelids nose make a small soft line of nose okay and very softly very softly make some standing lines on forehead and i am doing in front of a soft lines on forehead okay and soft lines near face below face standing lines you can see i am moving it standing can you see this see i move here standing lines on forehead soft lines okay you can move it little here and add it one side only not on both the sides your line should be very soft same here okay and here for tummy you'll be making a standing line and this feet part a small feet part okay so simply and here without outline you can show the hand suggestive now take your skin color and start doing in one direction start from a corner move your color in one direction and don't go in eyes like in eyes we will keep it white repeat every stroke four time gently don't pressurize your color and finish this ear also ear is also there cover up ear also and uh, now you will move your skin color on pink also na no? you will merge it 
little pink color mixing of pink will make your face looking more fresh more young and more beautiful okay so you will simply move it make sure you will be repeating every stroke four time your color should reach to corners and this is the way you will cover up feet you will cover up hands and for hair we will mix two colors then again we will switch on to oil pastels okay now see uh, dupatta we can make a primary red or gray green or any other green also can be tried any color can be taken now see for dress you are completely free with your imaginations you are very good at uh, color schemes so if you want to try your own color scheme you can try you know i will simply So see this little touch and presence of pink. You will move your skin color on pink also. Will add a very mature look to your artwork. See, okay. Now we will take color for odni. Okay. So for odni we can try yellow. yellow will also look good we have this beautiful fluorescent color is also but before that we will complete hair first and for that i'm going to take two colors and these are going to be and i think black directly black can also be taken so if you want to use oil pastel you can manage you can otherwise take black and start with hair okay so how will you do with hair first you will go diagonal this side plastic crayon i'm using if you can manage it with oil pastel you can do it but i will suggest you to try plastic crayon for this and you will simply start moving it in one direction okay you will start moving it in one direction this way is you and i will cover up it and jewelry i will be making yellow okay i will make jewelry yellow so very nicely you will be doing black and if you want to merge two colors then you can move brown first and then over that black i use plastic crayon for this and i will cover up choti complete choti this way okay finish this keep moving and this is choti and we know how we first we draw rhythmic lines and then we did this right so we are supposed to while giving while doing colorings let's revise okay yes the hairline is also done take yellow again you can take plastic crayon or oil pastel any and you will make jewelry So, I have this deep yellow color. I will make jewelry yellow. Okay, golden. If you feel that I want to do, uh, de give detailing here too. Of course, you can try. I'm making it simple. Necklace is quite simple. Earrings, kadas. I will make it golden and even thal in hand. Okay, you can make thal in hand also golden. So you can either use or your oil pastel. or your plastic crown any so your karas your necklace your jhumkis you know everything is done with this and if you want to make this also it's golden you can try this also golden odni i want to make with red primary red so let's take primary red and start doing you will give a proper outline Re keep removing dust you know you will not let dust be on your so i will simply go for red odni and in red odni if you want to add some pattern or border you can definitely try now see your hand can touch plastic crayon part but oil pastel you will not touch simply give prominent outline this way and after that start spreading your oil pastel without pressurizing it too much okay see 
and you can try any color all colors are beautiful try different color scheme also that it will give beautiful look to the artwork spread your colors nicely i'm not pressurizing my color if you will spread your colors in proper quantity you will find a very even output when you will merge you will see as i apply very good color as i keep removing dust keep blowing dust don't remove it with hands and merge it with help of cotton okay see softly gently carefully you will merge if color quantity which you applied will be enough you will find very beautiful and lovely output we will not add elements in background because background we are going to use for calligraphy okay for writing your message so this time you are not going to use any graphic online you will not search it even online you will share your handmade beautiful card to your relatives okay and i am very sure you are going to get lots of praises and your message you can make frame a lovely message and you can share it okay so i will simply give outlines then spread and with this cotton red cotton i already have you will merge dust you are supposed to blow off to okay, remove dust and this is the way you will spread colors okay and you will do this ways now see pink langa we made red dupatta we made i think now we are supposed to look for a color and i think green will be the most suitable one so let's uh, add green and blue even i have this beautiful orange that will also look good so green and orange we will try for blouse okay so again very carefully you will be using orange this portion orange okay very carefully and we will merge it okay this is the way you will merge and the way we used rhythmic lines to show flow of the body you know rhythm of the body hopefully that will be of great help okay so i will simply make it red but on sleeves i will add pattern okay and uh, i will try to make it very beautiful with some i will be making patterns with black again okay so here here also i will do orange now again we will take help of cotton and we will merge this blouse and as i always tell you as add patterns patterns always enhance beauty so here also we are going to take help of patterns and we will start okay so chalo now take a piece of cotton mix it nicely with patience it should not go out you know and nicely you mix it everywhere now again i will take help of black and i will add patterns in sleeve sleeves this portion with the black border okay we will add some patterns in this upper portion and even in this border okay at the place of making it everywhere we will simply add this ways and uh, this now we want to add something here also so let's look for some color which i think this is also pattern this is also pattern so we can keep dupatta white also but still if you feel that you want to do something i will simply add uh, some lines in border okay simply some lines in border here or add some very delicate patterns which are not and you can add some circle also on upper and lower side 
okay and this is the way you can add some traditional patterns this kind of print i was having a dupatta on which on that it this kind of print was there okay so simply some patterns here too bindi if you want to make red you can put bindi with red if you want to show little red in earrings and a locket pendant we have you can add a red dot here and don't forget to add some suggestive circles to add elements in background okay like see here on this complete page one figure is there and we kept background little uh, blank so that now we are going to add colors we want to show flow of colors all around okay so for that you will take blue blue we have not used anywhere so you will take blue and let's show that flow of color the blue come on take out your blue color and yes how to show that see you will show your blue and how you are going to show this rhythmic line you will round move it round soft it should look like and softly you are going to do this and how this rhythmic line will come see it will come from here softly you make this and this line will go from here okay and from here it can come on body and you can simply cover it up here okay so you will simply show this gullal you can cover up this completely now see dense you will make here and very soft outside and very random and uneven way you will start scribbling and this will merge also little bit not much we will simply show it in rhythmic lines when you are entering in already uh, done work like here in orange and all be little careful and you know, here we will not merge it afterwards and back side from dupatta it is coming here and it's here and from where she is having that much of gulal from here okay in middle you can make it little darker and here okay now a very important thing which is left now very carefully we are supposed to do it is merging okay so merge it nicely you want to make the corners like say outer side you want make it suggestive make it suggestive and spread it randomly okay because we want to look at like a smoke of color right smoke of color so outside you simply drag and merge in sky okay we use blue because blue is a color and when you go in oil pastel work you will not uh, turn your cotton you know merge it nicely outside where plastic crayon is there there you will merge it nicely and this is the way we will show the rhythmic line all around okay little and yes last but not the least some very soft uh, lines in background it can be green it can be pink some circles in background okay although you are going to write your message and you know, this is kind of greeting card design or holy even for holy you can try this if you have a competition on holy try little texture art in background you can try some symbols elements related to holy like pichkari color thal puja thal and all and you, know, you can try even that and we will add some soft colors in background and some patterns will add elements will add more detailing like here our background is quite simple we add elements and did it we kept it simple because our calligraphy is going to come over okay and this is your complete work today so hopefully the uh, 
efforts I made for teaching you about rhythmic lines and all, you must have learned it very nicely. You got how to, if you want to show rhythm in body, how to use rhythmic lines. And in hair, you can add, in cloth, you can you add dupatta, jewelry, hair. Everywhere you can add that rhythm and you will find rhythmic lines. Uh, now is the time to go live. I know you all are doing your work. It's not complete yet. But whatever part you did, please lift up your files and show it. Okay. So, chalo, let's go. In uh, junior batch also, I tried. Uh, as Although in senior batch, the works are more uh, refined and more uh, detailed and more mature. But uh, the same kind of uh, graphic based, I try to cover up in junior batch also today. Today in senior batch, with oil pastel, we learn this artwork on holy. And uh, this is mixed media work, oil pastel and mixing of plastic crayons. Uh, I will request all my children to lift up their files and show their work. Everyone, please lift up your files. You can continue your work afterwards. Yes, everyone, please lift up files. You can see great, beautiful efforts in their hands. Wonderful color scheme. They try so beautiful color schemes. You can see this also. Step by step, we learn how to add rhythm if you want to show a lady is dancing and all. And this is our holy special artwork in senior batch today. Hopefully, you all must have enjoyed today's class. Today also, you really surprised me and made me feel proud one more time. So if you enjoy today's class, so show me a thumbs up with Buddy Wally Smile. Yes, Krisha, I can see your pencil shedding work also. And uh, please do revise this artwork, okay? You can use for multiple topics, okay? So you all did great work as you always do. And with blessings, I will bind up class. Please do share your artwork. As I told you, in uh, senior or junior batch also, I cover up almost the same kind of, but it is simple. Like yours is quite work. So, okay. So, please do share your previous work also. The fusion of pencil shedding and all. We learn fur, how to use fur. So, uh, and uh, just a minute, I, I will see in chat. Ah, in Langa, you can try some uh, ornamental patterns or um, any other thing also. You can try any other color also for uh, jewelry and all. Okay? So, chalo with this. I will wind up class. May God bless you. Bye-bye. Yes. Okay? And uh, do share your artwork. Okay? Your seniors, they normally don't share their artworks. So, please do share. Okay? So I will have to wind up now. Bye-bye. Take care. Lots of blessings.